Why, hello there everyone. I'm Laxo, aka the Kumo Sensei. Minasan, konnichiwa. And today, we're here working with tarantula breeding, as promised. And as you can see, these here are the green bottle blue, also known as the Chromatopelma cyanopubescens. And I have to say, I've attempted to breed these guys in the past, and the male, uh, that male, I don't have anymore. I gave them away. So this is actually a different male, and Man, this took a long time to breed. It took about five to six hours for this entire breeding. So essentially you're seeing the last 12 or so minutes of the breeding. But uh, yeah, skip to this time frame here if you just want to see the insertion because it happens very quickly, I'll tell you that. And so if you don't want to wait like the entire video or if you don't want to see nothingness pretty much, just skip to this time frame and just see the insertion. And I have to say, it happens very quickly too. So you might want to put that on 0.25 speed if you want to see the insertion because it happens really quickly. Now the extended version of this, which is around 30 to 40 minutes long, it is on my Patreon. So if you want to support me, then please feel free to do so. And I'm going to start uploading my more extended versions of my tarantula breeding videos on my Patreon if you want to go check it out. Because I find that a lot of people who watch tarantula breeding videos, they don't really want to watch the process of it. They just want to see the final results, which is the insertion. And honestly, if that's the case, then I might as well just post the full versions or the extended versions on my Patreon. So for those who do care, they can actually support me as a tarantula breeder. Now, allow me to explain. There won't be commentary on those extended videos because it's more so of just the raw footage with some background music. Now, you might actually hear some things in the background of those original footage other than the background music that I put behind it because you might hear some of the neighbors complaining, people walking around, pipes, and sometimes my space heaters that I use to warm up my room for my tarantulas. But uh, yeah, if you want to support me on my Patreon, please feel free to do so. But I digress. Now, let us go back into this tarantula breeding and allow me to explain some things. So I kind of figured out how to breed the species because typically a lot of people just put males with females and then they just get together. This species is not really the case because males are super, super slow to pair. You can't actually nudge them or you know coax them closer to the female because males will get startled very quickly and they will pretty much run everywhere if you startle them too much. You kind of have to let them take their time, which takes hours. So my advice is if you're going to breed the species, take a day off or be prepared for nothing because nothing can actually happen over the course of hours. There's also more to it, but I don't want to go into depth because that would take forever. But luckily for me guys, I figured it out. So the male comes out alive. Well, spoiler alert, he survives. And for those who don't know, this species is notorious for females eating males during breeding. But luckily for me, I figured it out and every single one of my green bottle blue pairings that you'll see onwards because there's still two more females after this one because I do have three adult females. The male comes out alive for all of them. Now you'll see those videos in the course of either a month or two. So yeah, so prepare for next Friday for other tarantula pairings because we're currently into tarantula breeding season. So stay tuned. So yeah, so there's nothing to worry about. Uh, which is kind of a spoiler, honestly, but hey, at least the male comes out alive. Unlike the rest of those tarantula videos of green bottle blues getting eaten during mating, luckily for me, I figured it out. So everybody, uh, yeah, there goes the spoiler alert, I guess, which is a good one, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Spoilers, I tell you what. I am too good for my job, I tell you what. I'm overqualified. <laughs> People keep saying that. Yep. For those who don't know, and for those who are new to this channel, I am a tarantula breeder. I have been doing this for years now. And uh, yeah, I figured it out. So now, all of the breeding videos for the Green Bottle Blues, the other two videos you'll see later on the next month or two, this male comes out alive. And yeah, currently, as I'm doing this commentary, the male is actually still alive and he's still kicking too, so that's a good sign. But honestly though, it's kind of sad to see people's males getting eaten by females because of their lack of experience or because they have no idea what they're doing. I think the only YouTuber that I actually like in terms of tarantula breeding is Dave's Little Beasties. That man is a true gem when it comes to tarantula breeding. Love that guy. Love his channel and I love him in general. Go check him out guys. So if you want to see actual good tarantula pairing videos with really good commentary, please go check him out. But of course, as for us, we gotta do the best we can. 
Now in the future though, this is kind of a pipe dream, but I really hope that one day I can become big enough to where I can actually establish a tarantula breeding facility for both tarantulas and arachnids in general. That is my life goal at the moment. I don't think it will ever happen, but a man can't dream about that, right? <laughs> I mean, hey, everybody has dreams and that is my, like, my end all be all is to actually have a place or a facility for me to do my tarantula work and to actually do more spider work. And then when the time comes, I would actually like to take in somebody and teach them everything I know. But finding an apprentice is way too soon for that because I have to actually contribute and make a name for myself first before I can actually take in somebody to help me out. And of course, teach them everything I know. And to be fair, I will not teach you viewers everything because there are some things that only a person with experience can know. But someday I will find that one person and one day I will teach them. It's just that I haven't found somebody who's committed. But uh, that's enough from me because I don't think people are interested in learning about tarantula breeding in the tarantula market. People just want to see action, I guess. I don't really know. But anyhow though, stay tuned for next week everybody. We have more tarantula breeding videos. So I upload every single Friday for those who are wondering. So please, if you like what you see, support me and uh, like, comment, subscribe. And if you want to learn more about tarantula breeding and that aspect of tarantulas, then this is the right channel. I don't really do the generic stuff like most other tarantula YouTubers. I actually go into depth, like if I can, because that's where the big stuff happens, the breeding and stuff because I feel like everybody is doing the same thing on tarantulas, which is feeding and rehousings and whatnot. I like the tarantula breeding side of things. So please stick along for the journey and support this channel and tag along everybody. <laughs> and uh, I totally forgot to mention this, but during the recording, it took so long that the camera lights actually died, which is why the color's a bit dull because like it took over five hours for this pairing video and the camera lights actually died, so that's why the colors is a bit dull. But I promise you guys, on the next tarantula breeding videos, there is going to be actual camera lights that are working instead of dying because of how long it took. Because after this pairing, for the other two green bottle blues that I paired, I made sure to pretty much conserve and make sure those batteries were going to last <laughs> during those pairings. Now you may have noticed by watching this breeding video if you made it this far that the male goes in and out with the female and I'm guessing he's just very cautious because like most males but I find this to be very interesting. Now sometimes the male will actually just touch the female and walk out of her enclosure then wait an hour then walk back into the female's enclosure and try again after another hour or two. And that, and that happened quite a bit, I'll tell you what. Now, I didn't record some of those parts because it just took too much time and I didn't want my camera battery to die, so I didn't really show them, but that's pretty much what happened a lot of the times. So that's why I cut down this video to pretty much the last 12 minutes of the breeding because that's where all the action actually happens. The rest of the four or five hours were just absolute nothing but back and forth. And also, I totally forgot everybody, if you have any mature males, please feel free to contact me. As a tarantula breeder, we are constantly looking for males for our breeding projects. Now, I know a lot of people don't want males because they want females because they live longer, they grow bigger, and they look better in general. But for us breeders, we desire males a lot. And currently, I'm looking for males, specifically a Kilobrachys species electric blue mature male. So yeah. But any male in general that you have, please feel free to contact me. And if it's a male I'm looking for, I'm probably going to outright just buy them out for you. Now, for us tarantula breeders, we're not really the biggest fans of doing tarantula breeding loans. We typically just go straight out and just buy out the male from the individual. But hey, if you do have a male, please feel free to give me a shot and uh, contact me on my abouts page. My email is there. So if you want to get rid of mature male that you have, please feel free to do so. I swear everybody, mature males and male tarantulas do not get enough love. <laughs> Especially us tarantula breeders, we're constantly looking for males. I'm still looking for a male Therophosa blondie. I have zero luck, but I did get a sling, a new sling that is, and I'm hoping that this time this little Therophosa blondie sling that I got is a male. Now the great news is that I finally got to my Therophosa apophysis male that I need. <laughs> That's long last everybody. We finally got the male that I need. Oh my gosh. I have to say man, nobody understands how much males 
are to us tarantula breeders. We love them. So <laughs> love them. Man, we care and adore and love them so much. You know, at times we actually prefer the males over the females because of how hard it is just to get a male. And here is everybody else with tarantulas that don't like males. And we're just here. <laughs> we're just... <laughs> We're just trying to get by with these boys and we can't find them. Like, I think one great example is that for Peace Lotharia Striatas, I have like seven to eight females. Therophosa apophysis, I have three females. Therophosa blondie, I have two females. And the males, man, I lack them, but I could really use some. <laughs> uh, now, if you're a tarantula breeder, you should actually adore both the males and the females because you need them for breeding. It doesn't matter what you're looking for. You will take them any day when you need them. That's how you know I'm a tarantula breeder. And that's how you can identify any tarantula breeder. If they're desiring the males over the females because they need them for breeding. <laughs> if, some <laughs> if somebody says they're a tarantula breeder and they say they don't like the boys or any of the males, then they're not a tarantula breeder. Because trust me, a real tarantula breeder will actually care about their males. Unlike a lot of people on the internet crying about having a male tarantula. Me, I love them. I'll take <laughs> Just give them to me for free. I'll take them. <laughs> I can't believe how much people dislike males for tarantulas. Okay, I need to stop laughing, but uh, let us get back into it, everybody. So now you have seen the male going back and forth with the female, and he's not really going to commit just yet, but in a little bit he will commit and he will go all the way through and this pairing will happen very quickly this insertion so keep your eyes out and i highly recommend slowing it down to 0.25 speed because even if it's a blur at that speed it is a very quick insertion but i promise you this was a successful insertion okay guys he's going for it there we go here we go everybody get ready to slow down the video footage by going to your settings and slowing down this video because it happens extremely quickly watch and just like that he's done that was the insertion it happened very quickly i recommend everybody going back and then slowing down the speed and pausing at the right timing to see the insertion so you may be wondering so how do i know if this pairing was successful there's actually a few key points to look at this isn't for every species but if you wait a bit after the pairing, the female will sometimes actually rub her epigastric furrow, which is where the male inserts his sperm. And some species of females will actually do this, and I don't know why, maybe it's because it irritates them, or maybe because they're trying to fertilize it themselves, I guess, I don't really know. And let me clarify this again, not every species would do this, only some species or some specimens will. Now there is one common thing that every single male tarantula would usually do after they're done pairing if they made an insert. And that is if they're grooming their pedipalps. Now for those who don't know, male tarantulas store sperm in their pedipalps. And once they empty it out, typically they actually groom it a bit, like what you're seeing now. Even though it's blurry, you can still kind of see it. And with that everyone, this is the first pairing of the first green bottle blue female. We still have more to go. And yeah, without further ado everyone, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe to support the channel. And if you want to see the extended version, please check out my Patreon and support me on there as well. Follow me on my IG and my Twitter and stay updated to what I do over there. And with that, stay lax and laxo out from the Kumo Sensei.